Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. Today I've got Dhanush here with me. He's a student and he also works part-time. So, welcome Dhanush. Hi. So, uh, we're just going to ask about his experiences so far in Canada. So, Dhanush, when did you land here in Canada? Oh, I came in last December 2017. Okay, so it's been six, seven months. Yes, yeah, seven months here. Okay. All right, so um, you study here in Canada and you work here as well. So, give me some details about it. Oh, I go I go to the nearby college. I can't mention the name, uh, but I study human resource program there. It's very good, but it's also very difficult to study in the in colleges in Canada. It, they have like different different formats and to study. And there are like when we when we are in India, it, we have like different textbooks and different exam protocols after the four months, six months. And when here when we come here, it's like completely based on the assignments and assignments day by day. And we don't have we don't have time to f spend with the friends or friends with the family. Once we once we get the weekend, we are I'm, as I'm working the part time. I get I go for the three days of work, so my whole seven days are completed. I should wait for the holiday for two two months. It's very difficult to wait for a holiday for me, and I'm, my body is completely stressed. And that two after two months for those one one week of holidays, I completely take rest, and I don't I don't go anywhere, and I can't see anything here in Canada. So it it. it I waste a lot of time by taking the rest than compared to going somewhere and uh, see. I know be Canada is beautiful to see, but I don't have time to go ev uh, everywhere and see anything. So it's definitely not easy, right? Yeah. So you and that is mostly because you work as a part-time uh, job as well. Yeah. So uh, where where do you work? I work in the Walmart as a cashier. Okay, so uh, guys, he works in Walmart, and you said you told me that you have worked before somewhere yeah. as well. Uh, before three months, I have worked in the Home Depot as a sales representative on the floor. Okay. So, uh, how have uh, how has your experience been uh, s like working in Canada so far? It's not uh, it's not that difficult to work, but uh, some restrictions by the government of Canada that we should stand every time. Like uh, when you are in the workplace, you should stand, but they give breaks for every two hours, and it also the break should be like commensurate for the fifteen minutes for the first break. And if you are doing like an eight-hour shift, you should you should take one-hour meal break, and it's not paid. And every uh, till now, I have seen like everyone, every person doesn't. See, I have never seen like person getting thirty bucks or forty bucks in his for one hour. Everyone is getting like a basic pay of fourteen dollar twenty five cents, fourteen dollar seventy five cents. If he if it's he is working in the night, he gets like fourteen dollar seventy five. If he's working in the day, it's fourteen dollar twenty five cents. And it's a it's a basic pay uh, from the government, which are comments from the January two thousand eighteen. I don't know whether it's going to change in the 2019 or not, but they are trying to keep it like 15. Because you have always targets to ma uh, to maintain. Every time you you get target daily to do, e even it's cashier is not a small job. Uh, we should, I uh, I don't think so. We should say, but the, our response we can say our role and responsibilities as a cashier. Uh, we should sell them uh, sell the master cards. We should. Because it's in the indeed it, they have kept the rules and responsibilities, so I can mention it. Uh, we should sell the mastercards. We should collect the donations. We should pack the bags. But when you compare to the other stores, they never pack the bags for anyone. If you go to the, like something like different market supermarkets, never uh, no one will pack them. Pack them, but our Walmart we should pack it. It's good for the uh, customers there, and I, uh, but it's flexible. They they have given me a lot of benefits when I'm there. Even they pay for the uh, they give us the scholarship of hundred dollars per month. It's good when I stay there, but it is difficult to maintain our performance. If it's our performance is not good, they are going to throw us out. So, uh, you, what's the minimum hours or the maximum hours that you have to work over there? Yeah, per on the basic, uh, basic the government rules of the Canada. Uh, each student who is studying here and who is from the abroad should work only for 20 hours per week. If he is a Canadian, he can work for 20 or uh, 40 hours. Even he is a student or anything he may be, he he can work like 40 hours. It's his capability, but it's not that easy studying in a college in a Canada and also doing like 40 hours. Even 20 hours is very stressful for me to do. I, I work like 21 hours, which is like including my breaks, which I work like 21 hours to between from 16 to 21. And it is very difficult for me to manage my work in the college and to do in the part time. So sometimes I take leave, sick leaves. And even it is difficult to say that uh, I'm going leave for today. We should replace someone in our place, and then we should take our leave even when you are sick. <laughs> it's very difficult here to ma to just simply call them and say I am sick today. I'm not going to the work. It's very difficult. Yeah, I understand. Right. So uh, you told that your salary is around fourteen dollars per hour, right? Yeah. So uh, how much I uh, do you actually earn per month? 
if I do exactly 20 hour per uh, per week and it's like around four uh, f- it, it basically the pay is here bi-weekly so for uh, for four weeks we get like thousand dollars twelve hundred dollars and if you remove the tax from it we get like around thousand seventy six dollars per month and uh, what are your expenses here like living expenses the transportation and all overall it will reach more than thousand uh, dollars my room rent will be like 325 it's a room of four a double bhk and we have single bathroom to share everyone mm-hmm. it uh, it depends it, it depends in this in this locality it's like uh, 1350 per uh, per room double hip uh, means 2 bhk and also for the food and expenses for the first time when i came here i went out uh, i have taken food everything on out, uh, outside like in the restaurants and everything it's very costly I, uh, Every, everyone knows this very costly then so, uh, let me tell you that uh, we are here in waterloo ontario now waterloo is around 100 kilometers from uh, toronto the uh, the rents of like two bhks are even more expensive definitely more expensive in in toronto or and cities like that so here it is t- still a bit cheaper like 1300 for uh, two bhk you can easily get it but in uh, toronto don't even think about it you can probably get something around 18 1900 you can get a 2 bhk so yeah that was it uh, the other f- the other thing yeah so uh, yeah f- uh, here food is also the main thing where i know it's a very uh, difficult and also very costly in toronto if my friend stays there he, he get to charge like around 1200 to 1300 along with this stay and also the food but uh, uh, here it's you know it's very when compared to there it's a, uh, it's a big city and also the uh, most of the people live there uh, it's more expensive there uh, but here I, I get um, I need to pay like 400 or 500 for the food when I go to the restu- uh, restaurants or else I, if I if I bring uh, my own food and if I have time to cook and everything I, I it will be around like 300 and 350 yeah. so overall let's say uh, including your uh, transport including your um, rent house rent including uh, the foods now how much does does it cost to you overall, overall for per it month it cost to uh, it's cost 1200 for me overall 1200 so yeah. Uh, it's just that uh, 1200 sorry 200 bucks almost uh, that you pay from your own apart from the job yeah, yeah. yeah i need to i so need to when i'm when i'm student we should pay about from it. It, it, it they think it's easy but when i when we come here we pay a, a gic it's a file uh, file like we will be giving by the go- go- to the government of canada so they will be giving every 670 dollar per month uh, per month for us to for our expenses I, I know it's not that easy to be, that's why they have given 20 hours of part time to do so get money from the part time and then you you can manage the both of like you will having you in your hand like around 1700 or 1800 at the end of the month so the all right so uh, the uh, most important question why did you choose canada over other countries oh when i thought uh, when i thought of different different countries first I, first my preference was france let's see in europe next it was us next canada but Recently, everyone said that it's a Trump effect. I don't know what was the Trump and everything. I don't know anything about the politics of there. And and because of the France is the bomb blast. When uh, there were like different different bomb blasts on the on the in the dis. Oh no, it's not December. Something around when I was thinking to uh, plan abroad, there was like bomb blast there, and there were a lot of people there. So my parents were like, no, you should never go to the France again. You should. N- uh, we are not going to send you to the France. And the third option was Canada. So I'm here right now because of it. Because my I don't know my fortune is uh, my fortune sent me here, do, uh, removing those two from my path, doing different different situations there. <laughs> one is the Trump effect, and the other one is the bomb blast. Okay, that's actually funny. Yeah. <laughs> like that's destiny, you know. Yeah, so. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you so much, Danush, uh, for agreeing to do this and uh, telling us all about your experiences. So far, I hope that uh, our audience here will definitely benefit from it and def- definitely learn from it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe my channel, Dream Abroad. If you like this video, click the like button and definitely comment in the comment section if you have any queries and I would be happy to answer it. Thank you.